This video is going to show one way of installing auxiliary cameras to your aircraft. Installing an extra camera or two on your plane opens up a new dimension of FPV flying. All of a sudden you can see things that you would otherwise miss with just a flight camera. Dropping parachutes and water balloons and streamers is fun as it is, but having the ability to record those events can make for some really spectacular FPV videos. I have caught some great footage totally unintentionally as well, such as my landing gear getting quirky or downright failing. Having a wingtip camera is also perfect for monitoring ballistic events as well as potential problems which may arise. My camera not only captures recorded HD footage, but I can also switch to any of these cameras live in flight. In this video I will show you how to make a simple camera mount. I wanted the mount to be removable, lightweight, somewhat adjustable, and sturdy enough to keep the camera rock solid in place and not moving or vibrating around. So let's get started. To make a camera mount, all you need is a number 6 bolt, at least 3 quarters of an inch long, a number 6 nylon lock nut, a short length of carbon fiber tubing, some scrap balsa, a small patch of velcro, a velcro strap, some medium or thick super glue, accelerator, some Vaseline, a few typical hobby tools, and a Dremel tool. Now first of all, use some pliers to hold the nut and then screw the bolt into it. That way we have something to grip it with as we cut off the head of the screw. All we need here is a length of threads about a half inch long or maybe three quarters of an inch long. The reason I use 3 16 inch outside diameter CF tube is because it has a 1 8 inch inside diameter, which is about the same size as the number six bolts I picked up from Home Depot. Now if you don't want to use carbon fiber, you can use just about anything really, such as a wooden dowel. However, carbon fiber is stiffer and stronger than wood, and a dowel would require an extra step of drilling a hole in the end of it for the next step. Now use some pliers to remove the threaded end from the lock nut. Put some super glue on the frayed cut end of the threads and push it into the CF tube. Make absolutely sure you keep the nice factory end of the screw exposed because this is the end that we want to screw easily into the nut later. If you put too much glue on it like I did here, just wipe it off, then hit it with some accelerator. What we want to end up with is enough threads protruding to screw all the way into the lock nut, plus a little bit extra. In this example here, I have a little bit more than necessary, but that's okay. Now the next thing to consider is how much length do we need for the carbon fiber tube? I am making this mount today because the old mount I have been using was originally designed for my 808 camera and it's not quite long enough to hold the larger Mobius. As you can see it mounts flush to the bottom of the wing at this point and I need this amount of space here to make room for the wiring so I need to make the flat mounting area longer to hold the Mobius camera better. We will use a velcro strap to hold it on so I need to take into account the heat sink here and the buttons up here. So lining up the new CF tube with the camera I think I want to chop it off right about here. I use the Dremel tool to cut it and also to smooth the edges just a bit. Now I'm using a ruler to gauge how long I want the balsa platform to be and I think 1 and 5 8 inches looks about perfect. I happen to have a nice piece of strong 8 inch balsa lying around which will work perfect for the flat platform. You can really use anything you like here such as light ply or even plastic or something. Just make sure it's not too brittle and it won't break easily. Now set it aside for a moment while we install the wing mount. The wing mount is simply going to be the lock nut glued into the surface of the wing. I already have a couple of them over here, so for this video I will put one on the other wing just to show you how easy it is to do. First decide where you want to place the mount and make a mark. I messed up the first time I tried to install one. My first hole uncovered some bare wires, whoops. So I made a new hole away from that area, which works perfect. So I'm going to make an exact mirror copy of that one on the other wing. Now to cut the recess. I have placed the lock nut next to my mark simply to gauge how wide to make the cut. Then I used an X-Acto knife to cut all the way around in a circle, and then I came in sideways from both edges to gouge out the foam. Don't make the hole too big here. It is best to leave it a little small. Now press the nut in to make sure we have a nice snug fit. Okay, looks good. Now pop the nut out and screw it onto the CF tubing. Then take a tiny bit of Vaseline and dab it around the exposed thread area at the end. 
This will prevent super glue from gluing the mount permanently to the plane. We want to be able to retain the ability to unscrew the entire mount assembly and camera from the aircraft. I am using a square here to help me line up the tube because I want it to be as vertical as possible. Now run some thick super glue around the edges of the nut. Keep the glue away from the threads on the top and on the bottom. Squirt a shot of accelerator into the fresh recess that we cut, and when you have the tube aligned as good as you can get it, stuff it into the hole. The accelerator will solidify the glue very quickly and we're done here. You can easily put one of these mounts anywhere on your plane, and the lock nuts are pretty light. Okay, now let's cut our Velcro patch to fit the platform and stick it on. I strongly suggest you use super glue to glue the Velcro in place permanently or it will peel off easily. Okay, now we have to bring the camera up here and think about what is going on. I want to be able to press the buttons on the Mobius easily. And since the fuselage will be in the way over here on this side, I want the Mobius mounted just like this. That way I have access to the buttons without having to look through the fuselage. You can see here how it was important to make the mount hang far enough away from the wing to allow room for my custom video cable. It looks like everything is going to fit perfectly here with the end of the CF tube lining up with the edge of the balsa. Now I am gluing the balsa platform to the CF tube. Now here's a little tip. You're going to want to remove the CF tubing from the wing and then glue the balsa to it. Otherwise, you run the risk of what's going to happen to me right here. Oops. Okay, a little mishap here. I put glue on and then of course it started going all the way up to the nut, which I don't want. <laughs> so I had to flip it over real quick. Now the Velcro here will not hold your camera for long. I strongly recommend using one of these nice Velcro straps to secure the camera properly to the mount. These straps are awesome, and they are cheap, and they're available from Home Depot and other places such as Walmart. Here's our camera mounted firmly in place. Now right here, the Velcro strap is covering one of the heat sinks, so I'm going to move it up a bit. One thing about these straps is they are thin enough that you can control the camera buttons just by pressing over the area where the button is hidden. Once you have the strap positioned where you want it, you can glue one end on permanently so you don't lose it, and it also makes it easier to strap the camera on when one end is tied down. Now one thing I noticed here, which you probably see too, is that the camera seems to be a little bit tilted just a bit off dead center. I want my downward looking camera to be pointed exactly straight down, and it is easy to shim one end out a bit with an extra scrap of Velcro later. There we go, all done! Now that you know how to make a basic camera mount, you can use your imagination to make other kinds. This new Mobius mount will be great for looking straight down, or possibly mounted on the side of a fuselage looking towards the horizon. This is the mount I use at my wingtip to capture video of my plane in flight with my number 16808 camera. It can easily be rotated, of course, inside the lock nut to get a good shot of what I'm trying to capture. Here is another mount with the plate set at a downward angle and is especially good for looking backwards and down slightly to capture parachutes being deployed. Now a camera mounted this close to the fuselage has little danger of being torn off due to a rough landing. However, a camera mounted on the wingtip can be subject to being torn free if you land a little lopsided and drag a wingtip. So I'm going to loosen it up and then rip this mount from the wing to show you how easy it is to repair. Just dab the end of it with some Vaseline again, coat the edges with glue, spray some accelerator into the now slightly larger hole, and stuff it in there. You can easily do this type of repair at the field, and I have done so probably half a dozen times already with my other wing mount. This time I have glued it in at a slight angle intentionally, so now I can pull that shim out since the mount is now a bit straighter down. Now you can either run the wiring between the wing and the fuselage, like I did at first, or you can hardwire a lead into the wing so that all you have to do is plug it in. For the next part of this video, I will show you how to install and run the hardwiring. Okay, at this point you have gotten the camera mount all made up and you can actually use it just like it is. After all, both the 808 number 16 and the Mobius camera have internal batteries. I encourage you to go do some test flights at this point, capture some video, and see if perhaps you might want to choose a different location to mount your camera. Just make sure that your camera is exactly where you want it to be before you start running wiring to it. 